Let's begin with the what and why of the mainframe. Statistics show that the world's leading businesses across all industries rely on the mainframe. In an industry marked by change, the mainframe has not only survived but thrived and continues to grow after more than 50 years. Despite predictions to the contrary, the mainframe computer remains the foundation of modern business, playing a central role in the daily operations of most of the world's largest corporations, including many Fortune 1000 companies. As digital transformation in the app economy continues to grow, we expect mainframes to continue dominating the landscape of large-scale business computing. In a survey of CA mainframe customers, business leaders said, 76% named the mainframe as an important part of their current business strategy. 63% said their million instructions per second, MIPS, will be growing in the next 12 to 18 months. There will be an average increase of 1.67% in software investment in the next 24 months. High availability, security, and high volume transactions are driving mainframe investment. As the numbers from a recent survey of business leaders confirm here, the mainframe continues to be the foundation of the IT landscape for big business. With 85% naming it as important to their strategy, 80% maintaining or increasing spend on mainframe staff in the near future, 76% maintaining or increasing spend on mainframe software in the near future, and 80% confirming it as part of their cloud computing strategy. Why has the mainframe thrived? And why do most business leaders perceive it as an important part of their business strategy that merits increased investment in the foreseeable future? The answer is in the definition. The mainframe platform provides not only security of critical business data, but it is always working to run the jobs that are imperative to conducting business. It's the invisible workhorse that enables a business to do business. The primary reasons why organizations still rely on the mainframe are because of its core capabilities and the compelling economics. The platform core capabilities have been enhanced with the IBM Next Generation mainframe, the Z13. A worldwide study that includes over 324,000 IT customers shows the mainframe accounts for 68% of production workloads but only 6% of IT expenditure where labor costs are not included. Organizations globally depend on a mainframe to keep business-critical data secure. The unique architecture of the mainframe works in tandem with time-tested security solutions to provide airtight security of critical data. As security demands become more onerous as a result of increasing regulation, this mainframe strength becomes more important than ever. Global businesses run 24-7, and the mainframe supports this unparalleled availability. No other platform comes close to providing the five nines that characterize mainframe availability. Mainframes are environmentally friendly. Dr. Howard Rubin, CEO and founder of Rubin Worldwide, published a comparison of carbon footprints of a business process running on a mainframe-heavy environment compared to a commodity server-heavy environment. The results support the green machine label. According to Dr. Rubin, because of its ability to process high transaction volumes at extremely high economic efficiency, the mainframe is likely to have a relatively smaller carbon footprint, again due to its scalability, its inherent ability to add computational cycles without a linear increase in power consumption more typical of commodity servers. Studies also confirm that mainframes require far fewer staff to manage them than distributed servers. In fact, IT departments have increased mainframe capacity significantly in the past 10 years, but mainframe staff has typically stayed the same or decreased. 
mainframes are a highly efficient platform. Not only can they handle enormous workloads, both traditional and new, but they have outstanding disaster recovery capabilities that minimize downtime. And as organizations add new workloads to the mainframe, the costs don't increase very much, even showing a 10 times cost advantage over distributed servers. Although mainframe hardware seems expensive, the cost has actually decreased significantly with each new Z-series release because each new machine provides so much more processing power. Dr. Howard Rubin is a technology economist who recently updated his study from 2012 that looked at the relationship between computational intensity and total cost of infrastructure, or the relative cost differential between mainframe or MIPS intensive power and distributed or server intensive power. A major conclusion from this study is that companies within similar vertical industries who had a higher number of MIPS or a mainframe computational bias compared to their peers ultimately had lower total infrastructure costs across all platforms than peers who exhibited a distributed server bias. Just as in 2012, the 2015 results reinforce his previous conclusion that the mainframe-centric company has significantly lower infrastructure costs. And here's another analysis that Dr. Rubin performed across various industries that indicates how heavier mainframe usage benefits companies in different sectors. The organizations that had a heavier use of mainframes recorded lower IT costs than companies with a heavy commodity server use. The study was updated in 2015 and is reflected in this chart. In 2015, the economics of the mainframe reveals the following results. While computing power has doubled over the last five years, server-heavy organizations' costs have gone up 63% more than mainframe-heavy organizations. For every $1 that's spent on infrastructure costs, mainframe organizations earn $10.55, while server-heavy organizations earn only $8.22. Analysis across 15 industries shows that the average IT cost of goods is 35% on average less for mainframe heavy organizations, with the greatest differences in the financial sector. An IT executive with a major telecom company with over 40 years of experience in the computing world from both the mainframe and the distributed side made these points about mainframes. A mainframe can run for months on end without having to be restarted, something that is not true of a distributed platform or an Intel-based platform. Though a mainframe is big and complex, there is a lot of automation that makes it easier to manage. Roles and responsibilities associated with management of mainframes are more clearly defined than in the distributed world, which contributes to greater efficiency. There are fewer people who touch the box, and those that do are aware of the IT infrastructure in the organization. He also spoke about the cultural differences between mainframe and distributed environments, making the observation that mainframe personnel are averse to ad hoc changes and make changes only after rigorous, thorough testing. But the salient point he made was, if something is important to a business, it should be on a mainframe, for all the reasons listed here. Let's now look at the key components of a mainframe environment. The central processor, or CP, is the general purpose engine of the mainframe that does the majority of the work. Most ZOS software is priced according to the capacity of the general purpose CP engines. These engines can be turned on and off if the customer has contracted with IBM for capacity on-demand upgrades. Mainframes are typically divided into LPARs, or logical partitions. An LPAR is a subset of a computer's hardware resources, virtualized as a separate computer, also called a system image. In effect, a physical machine can be partitioned into multiple LPARs, each housing a separate operating system, for example, ZOS and ZVM. LPARs safely enable combining multiple test, development, quality assurance, and production work on the same system, 
offering several advantages such as lower costs, faster deployment, and more convenience. Mainframe hardware peripherals include the Hardware Master Control, HMC, the Operator Console that controls ZOS, Auxiliary storage devices like Direct Access Storage Device DASD Controller, Disk Storage, and Tape Drives, and Printers. The most prevalent operating system for the mainframe is ZOS. Smaller organizations might use ZVSE, and many organizations use ZVM to manage ZOS and ZVSE. In addition, ZVM is used to manage Linux on Z systems. The Unified Resource Manager, or Z Manager, unifies management of resources, extending IBM Z systems qualities of service end to end across workloads. The WebSphere application server processes messages to and from web services. The ZOS Connect solution enables ZOS systems such as CICS and IMS to better and more easily participate in today's mobile computing environment. The Enterprise Security Manager, ESM, allows access to all mainframe assets to be easily controlled and is the backbone for the security of the platform. The most common online transaction processing system is the IBM CICS. Among the most popular mainframe databases are DB2 and IMS from IBM, and CA Datacom and CA IDMS from CA Technologies. Sysplex stands for System Complex and is an instance of a computer system running on one or more physical computers. Sysplexes are often isolated to a single system, but parallel Sysplex technology enables multiple mainframes to act as one. Sysplexes are for ZOS operating systems only. Mainframe workloads are divided into two categories. Batch processing is the method where a program or series of programs process a number of records as a batch with little or no interaction from either the user or the operators. Online transaction processing is when the system interacts with the user for example, when you purchase an airline ticket or withdraw money from an ATM. Many applications include several platforms. For example, an application might have a web front end, a component that executes on a Unix application server, and a back end that accesses the mainframe, possibly to retrieve data from a mainframe database. With CA Solutions, we help customers manage those servers top to bottom from transaction to application to OS to hardware. When a problem occurs, it can be hard for customers to have visibility of the entire application transaction flow and all the infrastructure elements in touches. That's why CA Technologies provides visibility of the entire application, mobile to mainframe, from a single pane of glass. Next, let's review the various mainframe specialty engines. Specialty engines provide two key advantages, increasing system performance and lowering costs. Examples of specialty engines include IFL engines, which support Linux on System Z, running alone or more commonly under ZVM. Many organizations have moved Linux workloads to IFL engines, which are very cost-effective. The ZIP engines are specialty engines designed to offload database and other workloads. By investing in these engines and offloading work to them, customers can reduce the workloads for their CP engines and thus delay their need for more engines. The ZIP engines are designed to make the mainframe hardware more economical. Zap on ZIP capability enables former ZAP specialty engine workloads to be run on ZIP engines. ZAP engines are no longer available, beginning with IBM Z13. The IFL is a specialty engine processor that is dedicated to Linux workloads. Operational efforts, software costs, energy use, and hardware footprint are reduced when Linux is deployed on IFL 
rather than general purpose processors. An IFL can be used with or without ZVM, the traditional mainframe virtualization environment, or hypervisor. Note that the ZOS operating system cannot run on an IFL. An IFL engine simply needs to be switched on to provide additional Linux capacity to an existing mainframe system. There is no increase in power or need for additional floor space. New applications and Linux workloads can then be deployed on the virtualized Linux servers running on Z systems, just like any other Linux server. Running Linux on the mainframe is an alternative to server sprawl. It enables a mixing of high and low priority workloads without penalty. Hypersockets connect ZOS and ZVM LPARs, which removes communication traffic from the corporate network, eliminates need for firewalls, switches, routers, and so on, lowers cost and increases bandwidth, and provides greater network security. Linux on Z Systems offers the best of mainframe, combined with flexible choices for virtualization. Linux on Z supports common tools and applications available on other Linux platforms. In addition to ZVM, the open source KVM hypervisor can now also be run on Z systems. These two virtualization environments can coexist on Z systems. The recent IBM study compares the economics of Z Cloud compared to other alternatives. It tested 123 mixed workloads, light, medium, and heavy, on 219 virtual machines on three platforms, Public Cloud, x86 Cloud, and Z System Cloud. The TCO model used included 31 different variables that were placed into three major cost categories. As you can see, the TCO over a three-year period confirmed that the Z System platform is the most cost-effective. On the Linux One platform, you can choose the distribution, hypervisor, language, runtime, management, database, analytics, and others. Now, Z System is just another Linux platform and no longer requires specialized skills or special tools. Next, let's look at the mainframe roles and personas. These are the roles in the mainframe world. Let's look at each role and its responsibilities. On the business side, the CIO aligns IT to business realities and needs while ensuring the business strategy is advanced by the IT infrastructure. The director, or VP of mainframe, communicates the value of the mainframe to the business and ensures that the mainframe technology meets emerging and changing business needs. The IT architect connects the organization's business needs to the relevant technologies that fulfill those needs, and the procurement, finance, budgeting, and accounting roles make sure that the IT decisions take budget concerns into account, and these purchases have optimum ROI. The key mainframe-specific role is the director or VP responsible for the mainframe. However, the CIO and procurement play very important roles in determining software purchases. Younger CIOs might not have worked closely with the mainframe during their careers, even at sites where the mainframe plays an important role, so they may not be as familiar with its strengths. The mainframe system programmers, SysProg, are responsible for managing the mainframe and are typically very involved in software purchasing and retention decisions. Their managers defer to the SysProg's mainframe expertise. They are responsible for the heart of the mainframe environment, including programming, customizing, troubleshooting, installation, and maintenance. For mainframe databases, the DBAs are very influential, focusing on the implementation, maintenance, and repair of an organization's database. For storage, it's storage administrators who manage the mainframe disk and tape systems, and have the most input to this area. A disaster recovery manager ensures that a disaster recovery plan is in place. 
This role is responsible for complete and regular backups, the existence of an alternate location to move to if needed, and testing disaster and recovery scenarios. Change control managers oversee the movement of applications into production and work closely with software change management solutions, like Endeavor. Production control analysts are responsible for the organization's workload, working closely with the staff and applications and operations, and are closely involved with our workload automation and job scheduling solutions. The operators oversee the day-to-day -day mainframe operations and respond to problems, but are different from the network operators who monitor the network that is part of the mainframe. Performance analysts play a key role in making sure the mainframe is delivering the best performance possible. Products like CA SysView and CA Cross Enterprise Application Performance Management give performance analysts the tools they need to tune the systems and applications effectively. Performance issues often involve application developers and DBAs. Capacity planners focus on projecting growth by analyzing past and current usage and performance. CAMICS is a valuable tool for this role. On the application side, the systems analyst helps design the application, developers create and update the application, and the application administrator is responsible for the day-to-day -day working of the application. Mainframe security is a very important component of mainframe operations. There are several roles responsible for mainframe security, from insight into technology and security policies, managing IDs and access controls, confirming security controls, and finally, ensuring compliance requirements have been met. These roles rely on products like CA ACF2 and CA Top Secret and CA Cleanup. The security and compliance auditors need to confirm that the environment is secure and that industry and government regulations have been met. CA Auditor and CA Data Content Discover help them perform their jobs more easily and effectively. Network systems programmers, administrators, and operators are responsible for mainframe networks, typically SNA and TCP IP. Their jobs are to design and monitor the networks and respond quickly to performance problems. Service desk staff respond to users' IT problems. Quality assurance staff help ensure that new and updated applications and systems changes are tested thoroughly before they go into production. One of the reasons the mainframe is such a stable environment is because all changes are tested and tested again before they go live. Mainframe staff are typically risk-averse and pride themselves on maintaining an extremely reliable, stable platform. Next, let's start talking mainframes. Here you can see the evolution of the digital economy from the past to the present. For example, in 2014, there was an average of 37 mobile transactions per day, which represents a 50-fold growth since 2004. Every time a consumer makes a purchase or hits refresh on a smartphone, it can create a cascade of events on the back end of the computing. This cascade of events causes a so-called starburst effect, where a single transaction can trigger as few as four or as many as 100 additional system interactions. Simply put, as mobile adoption grows, consumers are driving exponentially larger numbers of mainframe transactions. Each of these mobile transactions triggers a cascade of events across computing systems. These events include comparisons to past purchases, data encryption and decryption, bank-to-bank -bank reconciliations, and customer loyalty discounts. Mainframe plays a critical role in digital transformation, with 100% uptime in systems and applications, highest security, and continuous growth due to mobile. 63% of CA customers surveyed in a recent IDC study see their MIPS growing in the next five years at about an 8-9% MIPS growth rate. 
55% of apps touch a mainframe. 70% of the world's corporate data resides on a mainframe. As the use of mobile devices increases, it drives an exponentially larger number of mobile transactions. Each mobile transaction triggers a cascade of events including comparison to past purchases, data encryption and decryption, bank-to-bank -bank reconciliations, and customer loyalty discounts. This cascade of events causes a so-called starburst effect, where a single transaction can trigger as few as four or as many as 100 additional system interactions, which increases MIPS. This effect can create security vulnerabilities at each interaction point. Digital disruptors make 2.5 times more profit. If they have a mainframe, how are they going to do this without transforming? There is no digital transformation if there are no existing systems. Mainframe plays a mission-critical role in digital transformation efforts across industries, finance and banking, insurance, retail, government, transportation, healthcare, telecom, and more. Our opportunity is in helping customers increase the use of their mainframe to host next-generation workloads and help them manage the transaction growth brought on by the application economy and digital transformation. The major drivers for MIPS growth are continuous availability, security, high-volume transaction requirements, big data analytics, and mobile. Having close proximity to critical data is another major driver of next-generation applications on the mainframe.